Earlier this summer, and actually even last spring, Evernote uh, seemed to be rolling out new features fast and furious. Then they took a little bit of a break during the later months of summer, but wow, the pace of change is picking up again. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, a certified Evernote expert. I don't work for Evernote, but I do get to sit in on regular calls with the Evernote team to see what they're working on and to provide input. Today, we're going to look at some recent changes. If you are looking to improve your workflow in Evernote, I do offer one-on-one -on -one sessions where you and I can work together on sorting out your current system and help you improve the way you do things inside of Evernote. Find out more at daveedwardsmedia.com Evernote. I'd like to work with you. So starting with version 10.155 and later, you're seeing some changes, some standardization, and a cleanup with the appearance of your notes. In the past, I've gotten some uh, uh, messages from viewers who said they don't like the way that their notes look when they print them. A long time ago, it was a challenge to print notes, but it has gotten a lot easier. And now, uh, the biggest change that Evernote's made recently is to make notes readable for those people who did not set a default width in the first place. You, I mean, you can still change it, but let me show you what I mean. If you come over here to your home base of your name, and you come down here and you click on settings. Now you have a number of options here, but what I want you to do is to come down to notes. And this is where you can make a couple of uh, choices in terms of setting the default settings for your notes. Uh, is this the style you want or do you want to change it to something else? And you can modify this any way you want. You can even change the color of your notes number of other options here, which I've covered in, in uh, previous videos. Uh, for example, if you don't like the slash command appearing in a note, you can do that, etc., etc. But I want to uh, stay with the theme of printing right now. So scroll all the way to the bottom. In here, where you go to Note With, you have two options, Fit to Window or Optimize Readability. Now, if you had never set the default before, it would fit to the window, and it could be a little wonky when you print it. Now, Optimize Readability is the new default setting. So unless you change it, you're going to have this setting already enabled. And that is going to help with the appearance of your notes when you try to print them. Hey, speaking about the way notes look, uh, the latest updates have also helped uh, those of us who want to print a PDF note. So if you have a note that has a PDF, this is not sponsored. If Baker Creek would like to send me some seeds, uh, we'll get in touch with me. But nonetheless, if you want to print this note, you will find that it looks a whole lot better. That was also part of the recent change. The next feature isn't actually inside of your Evernote app. It's another satellite feature. It's a feature that anyone can use from a standalone website. You can find it at evernote.com slash word hyphen counter. And it counts more than words. You can tell it to count the words, the characters, characters with no spaces, the number of sentences, paragraphs, pages, Calculate how long it will take to read the text or how long it will take you to speak the text. Uh, let's try it out here. Hold on. Let me uh, paste in some text and have it calculate the words, the characters, characters, no spaces, sentences, paragraphs, pages, reading time, and speaking time. Go to work, Evernote. Boom! That was very fast. So this text, which I copied from a New York Times article, uh, it says has 224 words, 1,200 characters, 1,000 characters if you leave out the spaces. It has 14 sentences, 7 paragraphs. It covers one page. You can read it in just under a minute. But if you try to speak it at a normal pace, it will be about a minute three. And it says that's based on the average 
uh, speed of 150 words per minute. Reading time is based on an average reading speed of 240 words a minute. Kind of cool, right? Now, what's the application? Well, I can, first of all, as someone who uh, teaches classes at the college level, uh, I frequently assign uh, projects where I ask students to write, let's say, 500 words. Well, now they can uh, check that. This could also be helpful if you're uh, writing text that you want to, you know, post to Twitter X or uh, any other number of social media sites. So this is, again, a satellite site. It's not yet into Evernote, may or may not be in the future. I've shared in previous uh, videos some of the other satellite sites uh, that uh, Evernote is sharing. These are accessible to anybody who goes to the website. Uh, I, the purpose of these satellite sites is really that we get to play with new features. The Evernote team gets to see how popular they are and, and they can kind of improve them as they go along on the site. And I'm guessing that the most popular, the most successful of these satellite sites will someday be rolled into the Evernote app. Now back to a more subtle change. Oh, and this is subtle. If you come over to your left menu bar and you take a look oh, at notebooks, you, you start to see that there's been a little design change here. Uh, the little arrow, uh, which allows you to open uh, that, is now kind of hidden until you hover over it. You can see how this looks. Or if you want to collapse or you want to open, and now it's over here. Uh, the same thing applies for tags. Uh, hover over tags, open up tags, and now you have these little tag emblems next to the appropriate tags. As I said, not a big deal, but I'm told that Evernote is trying to clean up the appearance of all of their menus. It's time for a viewer question. Craig asked, can we apply templates to existing notes? A lot of my notes are created by automations and I have to add templates as a part of the triage activity. Well, Craig, unfortunately, right now you can't. Only when you begin a new note. Now, I wish we could pick a, a template once a note has been created. While I don't have automated notes, I periodically forward important emails into Evernote. And then when I find them in my app, I wish I could surround it with a template. I don't know if that's ever going to change, but I do think it's a good idea. I, what I basically do is do a cut and paste into a new note, and that works for me. Not ideal, a bit of a pain, but it does work. You can still do other things in an existing note. I mean, if, you're, if you already have a note inside of Evernote, pressing the slash command brings up the menu of uh, things you can do with the slash command. Or if you do the at symbol, it will still give you the option to link to any other uh, note. Maybe someday they'll add a template option in that menu. Hey, if you have an Evernote-related question, I'd love to answer it on a future episode. Post that question below, or even better, email me at daveedwards at outlook.com. Hey, thanks very much for watching my video. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Do you need help using Evernote or setting it up? Do you want it to be the heart of your productivity system rather than just a jumbled mess of notes and notebooks? Let me help you. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, a certified Evernote expert, and I help clients all around the world with one-on-one -on -one coaching. You show me your system, I'll share my screen, and together we will design your Evernote system so that it's easy to work with and helps you be more efficient. Find out more, including how we set up a free 30-minute Get Acquainted call. Visit DaveEdwardsMedia.com Evernote for more information.